camera. Camel? Is that your camel? Mm-hmm. Is that us? That is us. Can, can I get a picture? You want it to take a picture of you? Yeah. Okay. Hello. Hello. Hi, welcome back to Homestead to Health. My name is Caitlin, and today we're going to go to the park to, I guess, the ice cream store, and we're going to go to the um, feed store. Feed store. Thank you. We're going to go to the feed store and to the uh, hardware store because I really want to do a project today because I've got spring fever. Today is pretty warm. It says right now in the car, it says it's 65 degrees. It's January. Why is it 65 degrees? It feels like winter came just long enough to kill off my garden and then it left like a jerk. But I'm really excited. I'm hoping to build a, a cold frame today so that I can get some plants going, to get some plants started in my shade box over by my kitchen window. Despite my hard feelings about winter, it is a beautiful day outside, so it's gonna be a great day to go to the park, to do a, a project, and to just spend time hanging out with my kids. It's a great day to take y'all along, so let's go. I didn't forget the ice cream. Hi, Mary. So I've got two mini strawberry shakes, one corn dog, and a large diet Dr. Pepper. Yes, ma'am. Anything else I may get for you today? No, ma'am. Hi, how are you? Uh, pretty good. How about yourself? Pretty good. Thank you. Nope. Okay, my there you go. Be careful. So this here is my shade box, or what I call my shade box. As you can tell, it stays pretty shaded, self-explanatory. But it does get a pretty good amount of sun also, depending on what kind of day, uh, type of day it is. Like I said before, it feels like just such a waste not to use this beautiful weather that we have now, even though I'm anticipating that it will get colder eventually. Um, now it's still a really good time to start seeds, especially here in Texas, um, whenever we don't get too terrible of winters obviously obviously and so uh, what I plan on doing is using the PVC pipe that I pulled out of the car along with some attachments and some plastic that I got from the hardware side of the store and not the gardening side of the store to make a cold frame so even though I really don't have to worry about snow right now the cover will protect the plants from chickens or anything like that I do have an ant problem over there in the corner that I what I plan on doing is using baby powder if you put baby powder on top of uh, an anthill sometimes it can drive them out and so that's what I'm gonna try to do I'm gonna try to avoid them because knowing my luck it's fire ants fire ants are terrible here I'm gonna not try to disturb the plants that I've already got in here I've got like two or three uh, scarlet kales from the past season wherever I tried to make this shade box usable but I, I planted everything a little too late so the only thing that really did stick around was the kale because it is frost hardy and so those are the other plants that I plan on planting today or other frost hardy plants and I'll hit those in a, in a second
Okay, I hope I'm in frame for this. Um, so this came out pretty dang great. Um, honestly, it would have gone a lot faster if I wasn't trying to vlog it, but it went it went pretty smoothly, uh, even doing it by myself. I have to admit, though, I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. There's there's a whole bunch of these stones laying around my property. Um, I don't know why. I guess they had a bunch of projects before that called for a bunch of crushed up cement. Whatever, but I'm gonna use it and. So the ends, I will fold up the, kind of the way you would a Christmas present, and I would use the stones to press up against it along the sides. You can see that I'm going to be using the stones to press up against the sides of it to keep, um, you know, chickens and coal and everything else out. Uh, I'm not really worried about it today. I'm not going to be planting seeds today because I'm running out of daylight. Um, not really, but my kids want to play and I want to make dinner. can kind of see in there you can see that uh, it's domed pretty well I'll be able to uh, remove the stones pull the cover back and water it as I need to water it uh, there's no shortage of light coming in so as I was making the video I was trying to be pretty diligent about showing you what materials I was using these pipes right here are three quarter inch PVC pipes and I had something across for across the top at the store but um, long story short I had to leave it at the store because there was no tag to tell what the price was and I was ready to get out of there. So I found these sticks that I used last year to um, to stake my tomatoes and I found them and I thought why not. So a little improvision and my favorite thing in the world which are zip ties and I was able to create stability. So it's been anchored on the sides like I showed uh, using one inch clamps and then I used the sticks and the uh, zip ties to give it stability at the top. I'm not going to lie, whenever I was bending the PVC pipe over to fit into the clamp, um, I was pretty certain I was going to, like, it was just going to go loose and smack me right in the face. But I'm really glad that it didn't. Uh, I did end up stabbing myself in the hand with the, screw, uh, with the drill, but I mean, what's a project without a few, few boo-boos, right? Overall, I'm really glad and I'm really happy with how this turned out. Uh, I think, honestly, in the future, because I have my greenhouse set up, but I can just tell that this is going to end up being way warmer. Um, in the future, I might do a mini greenhouse this way because, I mean, I just think it's going to turn out really, really great. Also in the future, uh, with any future property or future garden beds, I think that I would always do my brassica bed this way because brassicas are, you know, your cabbages, your broccolis, your kales, they tend to get eaten up pretty bad here in the south, your collard greens, and having something like this that would keep them protected is uh, very valuable. So I think going forward that this is going to be something that I repeat in the future. Um, overall, my total cost here in Texas, here in East Texas, this whole project here, not including the boards because I already had this, um, but just the, the pipes, the fittings, the sticks, <laughs> all in the plastic, this all was about 30 bucks for me. I've already got some seeds here from my seed collection that I've picked out um, to grow over here underneath this cold, uh, cold tunnel. I just, I'm, I'm struggling to find the words to express how excited I am that I'm going to be able to be back into a garden sooner than spring and sooner than uh, summer. I have my greenhouse going. My greenhouse is uh, doing well. I just don't have a way to heat my greenhouse and some of the plants that I tried to start at the 12 week mark, which I'll cover in a completely different video, but some of the plants that I try to um, start then maybe aren't doing so hot. I'm just so excited to be able to eat from here. I'm excited to be gardening from here way before spring, way before summer. Uh, something about being in the garden and just being in the presence of gardening and farming and just the whole package is so therapeutic to me and, and uh, soon after I had to take out my summer garden uh, I was just kind of standing there and I was you know it's just sad I was so sad and I remember telling my husband like I can't believe it's over. I mean, it, you would have thought that I had broken up with somebody it was nuts so this is this is extremely extremely happy stuff for me I'm really happy to be uh, here doing things, working with my hands, getting food to start, um, yeah, 
thank you so much for hanging out with me today uh, look forward for the video coming up where I plant the seeds in here what all I'm planting why I'm planting them and uh, I think I might also cover how we got certain other structures around here for free um, thanks so much for hanging out with me today I'll see y'all later